We all know neutrals are one of the big fashion trends for spring summer 2021, but if you've ever wondered how to style neutrals to really get the best out of them, this video should help. In today's lookbook, I'll be sharing my effortless neutral outfits. From chic head to toe beige to statement pieces you can pair with your favorite pair of jeans. Essentially, there should be a little bit of inspiration and outfit ideas for everyone. I'm gonna talk you through the essentials you need, the tips I reach for to make my neutral outfits feel elegant and effortless, and featuring a whole mixture of brands and price points to suit everyone's budget. If you like this video and you're not already, it would be lovely if you'd like to subscribe. And at the end of this video, follow the link in the description box below to follow me on all my other social channels. Right, lots to get through, so let's get straight to it. When I think about how to style neutrals, it helps to have a clear idea of the color palette you're choosing from. A neutral color is essentially any non-color. These are some of my favorite neutrals. You have your typical whites, beiges, greys and blacks, but you can also spread out into tan, olive and camel. Even a touch of the sorbet trend for spring summer 21 would work. There's a sense of minimalist calm about neutral tones that I personally really warm to. They just seem to make an outfit feel elevated and effortless with that infamous understated chic about them. And the fashion world has adopted this trend so heavily of late there are now lots of beautiful pieces to choose from. I see neutrals as the core of my capsule wardrobe. I can add in a pop of color or print from time to time, but it's these pieces that I tend to reach for on a day-to-day -day basis. As you'll hopefully agree from this lookbook, they blend together so beautifully, it actually makes your wardrobe work much harder for you. Not only will they mix and match with each other in so many different ways, but you'll find the neutral pieces will go with so much more than say a printed bold color you might have. Don't forget to let me know your favorite neutral outfit idea in the comment section below as we go along. Or perhaps you've got some styling tips yourself that you'd like to share with the other subscribers. It's always really nice to hear from you all. There's two elements to quality over quantity that I think are important to address when it comes to how to style neutrals. Firstly, when I'm investing in a piece, I pretty much always, I'd say 99.9% .9 of the time, invest in the neutral variation. Fashion trends will come and go as they do on the carousel of style. And I'm personally not rich enough to invest in a handbag, for example, that will be out of fashion by this winter. So when I'm splashing out on a statement piece I've saved my pennies for, I mostly tend to play it safe with a neutral tone, one that I know will mix and match with the majority of my wardrobe. And number two, thinking about the quality of the neutrals you do purchase can make a huge difference to the overall look of your outfit ideas. I would much rather one beautifully made blouse in a lovely natural fabric than say five made from polyester. For spring and summer, I'd invest in linens, which are particularly on trend crisp organic cottons, silk if it's within budget, and tensil as a really affordable alternative. Investment pieces mean something different to everyone, so I would just stick with the highest quality you can afford. That could mean choosing from the conscious range at H&M or the positive edit of Farfetch. Just focus on quality and your outfits will always feel effortless and elevated. Some of my favorite neutral outfits are when there's a heavy mix of tones. And remember, virtually everything I showed you on that color palette before would work nicely together. You could go solely with whites, beiges, and cream, or mix it up a bit. And as you'll see in this lookbook, olive, camel, and a sprinkle of a crew, for example, feels really relaxed and effortlessly chic for spring summer and combined together looks really sophisticated and polished too. It's actually quite hard to get a mix of neutrals wrong in an outfit. So do have a play in front of the mirror with the pieces you already have in your wardrobe. And I'm imagining you'll be surprised at just how many different outfit combinations you can make. When I think about how to style neutrals, especially for spring summer, I can't help myself but add in a sprinkle of earthy tones. It really suits my personality. It feels beachy and carefree, and I think they have that understated elegance that I just love. So that's something I tend to reach for when an outfit isn't quite right. For example, I was styling this neutral outfit the other day, 
and it felt like something was missing. So I had a little play in front of the mirror, adding in some earthy tone pieces until I felt I'd got the balance right. Adding in that coffee tone, it gave my outfit the visual punch it needed. And this idea could easily be recreated with a pair of trousers, a coat, or even a handbag. So when you have those moments where you're thinking, my outfit's not quite there yet, try adding in some earthy tones to see if that's the contrast it needs. For work, why not use neutrals for a softer take on power dressing? I found some beautiful neutral workwear on the high street and with the designers recently that would create some hugely elegant outfit ideas. Actually, I love this outfit so much, it made me envious of those who do get to work in an office. Shoulder and statement sleeves are a big trend again for this spring summer, and that would be an easy way to elevate your workwear. And of course, there's always a blazer, the perfect finishing touch for me with any outfit idea. I often think workwear needs to tick so many different boxes. If you have that boss who happens to whack up the air conditioning, it can feel positively arctic. So that's when a touch of layering can come in handy and still look chic. If I'm visiting an office, I will always keep a jumper or a cardigan over my shoulders or over the top of my bag, just in case. When I'm creating neutral outfits, I try and add at least one textured piece into the mix. So if I'm dressed head to toe in cotton or linen, I'll add a straw bag, for example, to really center the look again. Think about the knitwear pieces you have in your own wardrobe. Could you add a cardigan over your shoulders to bring in another tone and texture? Perhaps a scarf tied around your handbag or worn in your hair, a leather handbag that complements your outfit. Playing with texture in your outfits is always a good idea, but with neutrals it's especially important because it will add that extra level of interest to a simple and effortless look. I've heard the odd person say, oh, neutrals are really boring, but I honestly think they are anything but. If you focus on finding those really clean, crisp cuts, and there's lots of them out there, you can create some really stunning outfits. Tailoring and neutrals are the perfect combination for me. Find yourself a beautifully cut blazer, maybe in a soft white, beige, or camel even, or maybe a pair of pleated linen trousers for spring and I challenge you not to be able to make at least 20 different outfit ideas with them. So keep your eye out for interesting and flattering tailoring along with your palette of neutrals. And I promise you they'll become some of the most versatile and elegant pieces in your wardrobe. Neutrals are no longer the support act. They're now taking center stage. So think about adding a statement piece in a lovely soft tone to really finish off a look. Take this outfit idea for example. It has that calm, minimalist approach, but when I add a soft taupe statement handbag, it makes the whole outfit feel complete. And the same would apply with a beautiful statement coat. Again, as you can see in this lookbook, I played it safe with a camel tone, but the juxtaposition of a piece like this against the softness of those fabrics underneath really blends together beautifully. I always love a little layering in my outfit ideas and it's a style I do feel very comfortable in. There's just a naturalness to layering that instantly makes an outfit feel effortless. I don't really think about it too much to be honest. I just tend to keep adding pieces until I feel like I've got the balance right. Mixing in tones and textures as I go and forcing myself to try out unusual combinations. It's often the least likely piece that can work the best, so don't be afraid to give items a try. Effortless chic shouldn't feel stressful, so just go with the flow and you'll know deep down when the balance feels right. I'm thinking we've all had that moment where we're worried an item is too loud or too bright for a certain occasion. But an easy way to balance that and create the perfect effortless neutral outfit would be to simply add a pastel tone over the top. It reduces the metaphorical noise and centers the outfit back again. Also, of course, enabling you to add a pop of color into your outfits. I might add that I'm not adverse to color at all, but my core classic pieces in my wardrobe are often made from these lovely soft pastel tones. With all this lovely layering going on with your chic neutral outfits, 
don't forget about balance, especially this season, as we're seeing a lot looser fits when it comes to trousers. If you opt for a wide leg pair of trousers, think about something slightly more fitted on your top half, or a big puff sleeve blouse would contrast well with something more slimline on your bottom half. When I'm on the beach, I'm happy to wear a giant floaty caftan, but out and about, that sack look is pretty hard to pull off. So don't forget to give yourself some shape when styling and layering your neutrals. When it comes to how to style neutrals, you don't just have to go with those clean, crisp cuts. You can definitely go with some floaty shapes too. In fact, there's so many beautiful options about in this style at the moment, it'd be a shame not to embrace it this season. And don't forget, you can add a neutral print too, which can make a really beautiful effect. I shared this dress the other week that I got from Mango's Sustainable Collection. The mane of the fabric is in a light beige, and the polka dot print is in a camel shade. Aside from loving the shape of this dress, it's really nice having it in a print as well, but one that feels effortless and suits my natural subtle style. I particularly like these sorts of shapes when it's hot. It can feel really uncomfortable if a dress is too tight and it's boiling hot outside. But a floaty linen is not only hugely breathable in its very fabric nature, but the shape also lends itself to that warmer weather too. If you're not keen on the idea of going head to toe in neutrals, simply adding a soft tone accessory can create a really beautiful outfit. I do feel very lucky to have a lovely selection of handbags. A lot of my handbags have come from the Parisian brand Palen Paris. Their colour palette is actually perfect for accessorising with a neutral shade. Or you could add a pop of neutral with your shoes. Some nice strappy sandals and a soft pastel, for example, can often be that finishing touch to a really elegant outfit. Another idea to balance out your outfits would be to add a neutral scarf or pashmina. The softness really shines through for me, and aside from practicality of having a scarf with you, I actually really like the addition that it can have in outfits. Essentially, accessories can be the star of the show when it comes to creating your neutral outfits. So it's worth taking another look at your own wardrobe in a new light. There's probably a few pieces that you already have that you might have forgotten about that would work perfectly. I really hope you've enjoyed this how to style neutrals video. I've shared lots of outfit ideas today, so don't forget to let me know your favorites in the comments section below. And if you're new here, thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll stick around and subscribe for more styling videos like this. And to everyone who's a regular to my channel, thank you as always for all your support. Have a wonderful week everyone and I'll see you next Sunday. Take care.